Merry Christmas Eve. I'm sorry to be in your face with horrible audio, but my microphone has not yet been replaced. Whole story behind me accidentally throwing away my receiver for my wireless microphone system, but got a replacement on the way, but it won't be here today. So I am out at Faith Community Church in St. John's, Florida, south side of Jacksonville. It's a little nine hole course uh, on private property that's kind of open to the public. And I'm going to play a round of Evil Twin. So let me tell you what Evil Twin is all about. I am playing a nine hole loop but I am playing two scorecards, one for myself and one for my evil twin. So I literally just play like I'm two people. Evil twin gets the T-pad first and gets a selection of whatever disc they want out of my bag. My bag is not changed and they get to throw that. So my goal is to shoot better than my evil twin so that I can get T-pad and have selection from the bag. Now, whoever is out has to throw first, just like if evil twin were an actual other person. And one last thing that I forgot to mention about putting, I have two putting putters, an orange one and a purple one. Myself, I will always use the purple and white one. Uh, Evil Twin will always have access to the orange one no matter where you're at on the course. And you must putt inside circle too, so there's never a risk about which player has access to an actual putting putter. All right, so that's it. Let's flip the camera around and get this thing going. This is hole one. It's only like a little 260 foot par three out there. There is a parking lot right to the right of it. We're playing anything concrete as out of bounds on hole one. Um, not much to this, just try not to throw it in the parking lot. Evil Twin is up first, so they have the choice of disc to throw. Evil Twin is gonna go with the pyro and just try to swing it out wide and get it to come back underneath the basket. This tee pad on hole one sucks, by the way. Tee pads on this course are just rubber mats. Uh, it is what it is for the time being, but it'll throw you off. All right, so my shot now, I'm gonna go with the Bobcat, closest disc to what the pyro is in my bag. That looks pretty close. All right, so Evil Twin has a little bit of a tester here, about a 20 footer with OB behind it. Uh, mine's basically parked. All right, hole two, uh, par three, everything on the course is a par three. This hole has recently changed. This Mando right here is new. The whole playground for the kids is uh, new and pretty cool. So we will be playing the Mando. If it's missed, you take uh, a drop penalty at the Mando sign from there is the way we'll play that because I don't think there's a drop zone. Uh, but it's just about a, I don't know, 190 foot shot or so. Bobcat. Man. Well, the Bobcat apparently just stopped. I thought it landed about where you see it here underneath the basket and bounced back. There is a little bit more room than 20 feet. I don't know if the pyro is safe or not. We got to check. Red Fission Envy. This is hole three, 215 feet. Um, water carry pretty much the whole way. You probably got uh, 190, 195 feet to carry water. Uh, and then the basket right there on the hill. So it's my favorite hole in the course, a lot of fun. I've yet to lose a disc in this water. So if I try hard enough, I'm sure I can do that for you here. It's a lot. Just so you can see me, put this out real quick to get it out of the way. All 
All right, so hole four, we got a 400 shot straight out there in the middle. There's a double Mando down there around circle two somewhere that's kind of relatively new. All right, I'm up, I'm going first, so I'm gonna go with the wave. I'm gonna try to really hyzer flip it out there on the left and see if I can get it to keep turning without crashing into these palmettos on the right. That's gonna be trouble. I'm gonna go with the Zenith for player two because that turned so hard. I do have a left right headwind. I'm gonna go with like a floaty entropy, I think. All right, so you can see um, Evil Twin right here in front of the Palmettos. Just shy of the Mandos, actually. I thought that I had got it up there, um, but I did snag a limb coming out. Uh, but it's close enough. This is circle two, so we can run a putt at it. Oh. Kiss the basket. We'll tap Evil Twin out. All right, hole five here. You can see it straight out in the middle. It's not a very long shot. I'm usually throwing indies here. I think that might be marked. So I'm gonna go with the red envy for player two. There we go, tree kick will help. I yanked it. I yanked it, I didn't mean to, but I knew I did it the moment I did it. All right, Evil Twin sorely, sorely needs to make a circle two putt. I'm parked up there again. All right, tap these out. All right, so I'm up. Probably gonna go with the wind coming in and off the highway here from my right to left. I'm gonna probably go with some uh, entropies here on forehand, try to flex them up there. That'll help Evil Twin. Same play, Entropy, I just need to throw it better. Damn. So I don't ever use my coys for anything other than putting, but I'm gonna try to really just throw this on a hyzer out there and see if I can swing it by the basket. I'm gonna try to throw it in. Didn't think that was going in out of my hand to be honest with you and then it just picked up steam but uh hey evil twin gonna pick up at least a stroke maybe two let's see ripping headwind well not ripping but there, there's a headwind coming through there that made me hesitate all right on to hole seven but hey evil twin's got t-pad let's go evil twin all right hole seven 225. I think I'm gonna go with an entropy and just try to throw it pretty hard. 
and see if I can get it to flex up. Big skip. Two slash evil twin can putt first just because it's on the way. Circle one. Man. Go ahead. And that'll bring us up to hole nine, the final hole. This one is 330, uh, surrounded by OB up there. So we'll try to go something hard and straight. All right, so that goes OB. We're gonna try to swing this on a hyzer around. I was thinking that would snag the trees up there and fall down. Yeah, that's definitely the play. I'm up here 15 feet, so I should take a birdie. All right, so that does it. Unfortunately, I gotta get close and intimate with you again here due to the microphone situation. But uh, I beat my evil twin there. It's usually not like that. It's usually really close. That just got away um, out of hand early on. I was making good drives and easy putts for myself on the first few holes and it just paid off in the end. Um, that last hole though, it's interesting. I didn't realize it'd be so close of going out of bounds at the basket that it's basically a tap out. So definitely want to run that. I feel like anytime I ever throw anything that's neutral or flippy on that hole, I always end up staying OB right of the road uh, and going out of bounds. So that's a problem. You don't want to go over there and then you're searching for a disc. It's a lot of trouble. Um, so I think you should definitely throw something that'll hyzer back, swing it out. But as you can see, it's Christmas Eve. I gotta get home to the family. People wanting to use the facilities. That's it. Wasn't planning on doing a video, but I would figured why not? Nice short course. Love it. Merry Christmas to all of you. Stay safe out there. Make sure that you're with your loved ones and we'll see you after Christmas.